Hello folks, this is Ted White and today I'm going to show you how to create a spotlight effect in CapCut PC using a circle mask like you see here. Let's check it out. Alright folks, so this is similar to the cinematic text reveal effect that I created a few months ago, but it's unique in its own way. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to text, the text tab here, we're going to click on that. From there, we're gonna to go to default text and we're going to add a layer to the track by clicking this little blue circle. And then what we're gonna do, there's the text tab up here to our right. Under that, there's basic. I'm just gonna highlight default text. I'm going to hit backspace. And this is where you're gonna to wanna to put text that's unique to you in here. So I'm gonna put TEDS, T-E-D apostrophe S. I'm gonna go down to font and then I'm gonna select that. And from there, you just want to click a bold font. So you can click something like Rubik or Anton, whatever works for you. I'm going to go to Anton here where I've recently used it. From there, I am going to click on one of the four corners here. So I'm going to click on this corner, hold the click, and then I'm going to drag it so that I can make it a little bit bigger. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I am just going to click over here, scroll down a little bit until I see color, okay? So I'm gonna select color and then I'm gonna choose red. And then my particular text here is going to be two words. I'm gonna put my YouTube channel name, which is Ted's Tricks, okay? So I'm gonna have Ted's in red and I'm gonna have tricks in dark gray because those are my colors, all right? And how I'm gonna do that is I'm just going to make sure that this is highlighted, all right? And that this layer is highlighted. I'm gonna hold down on Alt on my keyboard. And then what I'm gonna do is click on this text layer, hold the click and drag it up and then release. And now I have a copy of Ted's. With the top layer highlighted, I'm going to click on the top layer here, drag it over, but make sure that I see the blue horizontal line, which means it's in the same vertical position as the lower layer here, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I am going to click on the top layer here where it says Ted's. I'm gonna highlight Ted's and I'm just gonna change that to tricks. So I'm gonna type in T-R-I-C-K-S. And then as I said before, I'm just gonna change the second color. So I'm gonna scroll down a bit and go to color and I'm gonna change that to gray, okay? The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click off of that and then I'm gonna click off of these and I'm gonna hold the click, drag it over both text layers, release, right click on one of the text layers and then I'm gonna go to group. And then I am going to drag this over until I see the blue vertical line and the blue horizontal line, okay? And that means I'm in the center. And then I'm gonna click on the corner here so any one of the corners, and I'm just gonna make this a little bigger again. Um, so I'm just gonna click on this and just make it, hold the click and drag it so that it's a little bit bigger on the screen. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm simply going to go to scroll down on this right side of the screen here until I see glow. And then I'm gonna click on glow and I'm not gonna use the pro today. I'm gonna use just the free features today so everybody can enjoy this particular effect. So I'm gonna select this one to my right and then I'm gonna scroll down a little bit. I'm gonna make the intensity for this 40, hit enter, and then I'm gonna go to range and I'm gonna put that at 80. So I highlighted the 40 down at the bottom here and then I'm gonna put that 80, enter, okay? And then from there, what I'm gonna do, these both are highlighted, they're grouped. Since they're both highlighted together, I can just right click on this and select create compound clip. Now this is gonna allow us, once we create a compound clip, it's gonna allow us to mask, okay? So 
we're gonna go up, there's text tab right here, we're gonna go to video, and then it's gonna be basic for you. I'm gonna go over to mask, okay? And then I'm gonna put add mask, select that, and then right here, there's circle, and that's what we're going to be using today is the circle mask. So I'm gonna select the circle mask, and then I'm gonna scroll down a little bit, and I'm gonna change the feather to 25. I'm gonna hit enter. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this smaller. So I'm gonna make the circle mass smaller. And in order to do that, you just click on one of the four corners, okay? And you hold the click and make it smaller. So I'm just gonna make it probably about that big. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag the mass so that it's not showing any of the text at the beginning. And then the next step, I'm going to add a keyframe for position. So I add a keyframe right here for position, for mass settings, and then it adds a keyframe on the timeline as well for position. So this is the initial position. And once I change the, this position, if I click on the mask and move it, to another location, it will add another keyframe, okay, for position. So I'm gonna move this over. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make about five more keyframes, okay, throughout this timeline, throughout this clip. So let's go right here. I'm going to, I move the playhead forward. Now I'm gonna move the mass forward, okay? And I'm going to move the position of the mass to right about here. And then I'm gonna move the playhead forward. And then I'm gonna move the mass forward. And then I will move the playhead forward. And then I'll move the mask. I said forward, but you just move the mask to a different position is what I'm trying to say. And then playhead forward. Move the mass to right here. And then we have one, two, three, four, five keyframes. So on the second last keyframe, which would be this one, the fifth one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a keyframe for size. So I'm gonna add a keyframe for size as well. So I'm gonna select that. And then I'm gonna move the playhead forward. And then I'm gonna move the mask somewhat in the middle here. So right here, and then I'm gonna change the size and I'm gonna make the size so that you can see all of the Ted's tricks. So all of the text. And then I'm gonna show you, so I'm gonna just show you what this looks like. So what we'll do is we'll put it on full screen and then I'm just gonna click play. Let's take a look. Okay, so that's kind of cool but we can take it one step further and we can smooth it out a bit. Now, how we're gonna do that is we are going to right click on the clip, okay? And then we're gonna go down to show variable speed animation. So I'm gonna select that and then I'm gonna scroll up. And then what we're gonna do is for position X, which you can see right here, we're going to click over here and then we are going to hold the click, drag it so that it goes over all the keyframes, okay? As you can see, all of these blue, they're all now blue. I'm gonna release. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to preset curves, okay? And I'm going to select preset curves and then I'm gonna go to cubic out. I'm gonna select that. And then I'm gonna X this and then I'm gonna scroll down and it says position Y. I'm gonna click on that. I'm going to click right here, hold it, drag over all the keyframes, every single one of them, release. I'm gonna to go to preset curves, and then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna hit cubic out. Select that, I'm gonna exit, and what that causes is like a pause. So it actually causes more of a spot like um, effect. Okay. Rather than 
just going straight from one position to the next. It kind of stops at a position uh, when it gets there for a little bit or slows down at least. So it gives more of a spotlight look, okay? So then in order to get rid of this or hide this, you just right click and you put hide variable speed animation, okay? And then it just brings back the compound clip. So the last thing I'm gonna do today is I'm just gonna show you the finished product of this. So I'm just going to go over here to the preview screen and just put to full screen. I'm gonna play it. All right, and that is how you create a spotlight effect in CapCut PC using the circle mask. I hope this tutorial helped you out folks, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks a lot, bye bye.